something to the day. I got you some ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for fish ice cream? All right, maybe not, but that didn't stop these funky flavors. Forget about chocolate and vanilla. Here are 15 ice cream flavors that sound too weird to be true. You did it, Dan, ice cream. Corn on the cob ice cream. Get that corn out of my face! When you think about corn on the cob, a backyard cookout is probably what first comes to mind, not a big bowl of ice cream. And yet, it's true that somewhere in this world, people are enjoying the taste of corn on the cob ice cream, and not just anywhere, right here in New York. Ever since Max and Mina's opened up in Queens in 1998, crazy one-of-a-kind ice cream flavors have been released left and right, and corn on the cob was the highlight of 2018, and has since become an all-time fan favorite. Surprisingly enough, it's not the only parlor that serves this unique flavor. We'll take two of the usual, please. You got it, guy. <laughs> From Missouri to Pennsylvania, corn-flavored ice cream has been winning over people's taste buds. What a way to take two summer essentials and pair them together to make an unforgettable treat. Who would have thought? Cereal milk. It's like my tongue at a baby with a sunrise. Arguably, the best part of any bowl of cereal is the sugary milk that's left in the bowl. Nothing's more satisfying than slowly slurping up all of that sweet nectar. I mean... <laughs> but what would you say if we told you that someone had the bright idea to actually turn that milk and make it into a frozen treat? That's right, cereal milk ice cream exists thanks to Christina Tossi, pastry chef and owner of Momofuku Milk Bar, another New York establishment. This sweet concoction might remind you more of a breakfast than dessert, but at the end of the day, it's still a tasty, milky way to treat yourself. Cereal milk ice cream is made the exact same way as traditional ice cream, only before it's churned, you need to soak cereal in the milk for a while, and then it's ready to be transformed into a delicious delight. The one served at the milk bar specifically comes sprinkled with caramelized cornflakes to add a little bit of crunch and authenticity. Lobster ice cream. Can I take one of these lobsters back with me? You got it. If you're from Maine or anywhere in New England, you know how important the lobster roll is. Some like it served cold with mayonnaise, while others prefer a warm, buttery roll. But either way, it's all about the lobster. However, what would you say if that same lobster was in your ice cream cone? Yeah, the debate on that one might be a little more intense, but the Ben & Bill Chocolate Emporium says it's one of the most popular flavors sold at their shop. The lobster ice cream consists of cooked lobster meat that is bought daily from local fishermen and then added to the ice cream. This one. Yeah, that's my guy. With each lick, you get a taste of lobster, which can be a little unsettling at first, but heaven on earth for lobster fanatics. Overwhelmingly creamy, buttery, and surprisingly unfishy, lobster ice cream is a summer must-try. Vanilla with a twist. Two scoops, sir. Two, make it three. I'm not driving. Okay, obviously we're not talking about the regular vanilla ice cream here. It's basically the most basic flavor you can get. No, we're talking about one that glows in the dark. Indeed, it was the English ice cream maker Charlie Harry Francis who paved the way for fluorescent frozen treats when he began offering his glow-in-the-dark ice cream back in 2013 at the Lick Me I'm Delicious company in Bristol, England. The fun and unique dessert was made with a jellyfish protein that glows when it comes in contact with neutral pH, like saliva. The only problem was the hefty price tag it came with. How good is that? You can taste it. At about $225 per scoop, it wasn't exactly the cheapest thing on the menu. Extracting the protein was insanely expensive, and so was the fancy ice cream. Since then, other companies have begun offering similar products, only at much more reasonable prices. Booger ice cream. <sighs> the privacy of all glass around me. Finally, I can pick my nose. Without a doubt, the most disgusting sounding name of all time, booger ice cream is a real thing. But don't be too disgusted just yet, because as it turns out, the name has nothing to do with the taste, or the ingredients for that matter. The only thing you will find in this booger colored ice cream is a bunch of tasty toppings perfect for a unique tasting flavor. Sold at the ice cream store in Delaware by Chip Hearn, booger ice cream is made of vanilla ice cream mixed with caramel, bits of marshmallow, as well as green food coloring to give it its icky appearance and texture. Hearn said he got his inspiration from a jelly bean of the same name, and he just knew he had to make the most out of it. I lost. 
earwax. Said to have a delicious and original taste, rest assured, booger ice cream doesn't taste like or contain any of the real deal. Olive oil. Who says in my arm? You cooking? Olive oil is usually associated with cooking and frying foods and has become a kitchen staple all around the world. With that in mind, ice cream is probably the last place you would expect this oil to be found in. Yet, there is such a thing as olive oil ice cream, and it's apparently dreamy. There are many ice cream parlors around the country that serve ice cream made with olive oil, but one of the most notable ones has got to be the Bent Spoon in New Jersey. Supposedly nutty and slightly fruity, Fruity, the olive oil ice cream is an absolute gem. We're not worthy! We're not worthy! The Small Batch Ice Cream Shop opened almost 20 years ago and has an impressive flavor catalog, so you can be sure to find something that suits your taste if olive oil isn't your cup of tea. Although it has become the go-to flavor for many ice cream enthusiasts, so maybe a lick or two wouldn't hurt. Cicada Slimy? It's satisfying. This one is not for the faint of heart, so if you're easily grossed out by creepy crawlies, you might want to skip ahead. People eat insects in many parts of the world, covered in chocolate, fried on a stick, or even in casseroles. But the most shocking way of all simply has to be in ice cream. Sparky's homemade ice cream wanted to take advantage of the cicada infestation from a decade ago and came up with cicada-flavored ice cream. That sure is one way to find a silver lining. How can you eat that? The employees would collect the bugs in their backyards, then boil and coat them in brown sugar and milk chocolate before adding them to brown sugar and butter ice cream. The first batch of the frozen treat was apparently sold out before it was even placed in the display case. Well, you know what they say when life gives you cicadas. Pizza ice cream. Sounds like a great idea. What do you think? While this particular flavor is, yes, a little uncommon, it isn't actually that weird simply because pizza is everywhere. We can't seem to get enough of the stuff, so why not add it to another iconic food? At Little Baby's Ice Cream in Philadelphia, pizza ice cream has become a sort of rite of passage for anyone visiting the shop and is one of the most popular flavors on the menu. Pizza time. Made with tomato, oregano, salt, basil, and garlic, getting a scoop of the savory treat will feel like eating a second dinner, which honestly isn't bad at all. Only you'll definitely want to eat this one cold. And the best part is, there's actually a pizza joint right next door, meaning you can reach pizza bliss in every way. This way, you can have pizza for breakfast, lunch, dinner, and dessert. Horseradish. And while you're serving me, how about a little dollop of horseradish on the side? At this point, it feels like there are no more limits when it comes to what an acceptable ice cream flavor is. Remember Max and Mina's, the ice cream shop in New York that serves some insane ice cream flavors that sound too crazy to be true? Well, now even horseradish is being turned into an ice cream flavor. With a bold, spice, and unusual flavor, horseradish ice cream is sure to strike up a conversation with just about anyone. Of course, if you can't make your way to the parlor, you can always try to make your own version at home. A lot of horseradish. There are surprisingly many recipes online with ingredients like beetroot, walnuts, and goat cheese. You could always eat a scoop or two with your plate of fish or your other culinary endeavors. Don't knock it until you've tried it, I guess. Tomato sorbet. Oh, Daddy, this tastes like grandma. Tomato, tomato, whatever it is, we all know that it's a fruit. And where do fruits usually go? That's right, in ice cream. Only you probably didn't expect anyone to take that dare and actually use tomatoes in the frozen dessert. But someone did, and the tomato sorbet was born. And it's weirdly enticing. Even though delicious might not be the first thing that pops into your head when you hear the words tomato sorbet, it's been described as subtle and satisfying. 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 That's it. We didn't lie. Mallard Ice Cream in Washington is the one to thank for this exceptional invention that has inspired many other ice cream shops to come up with their own way of using tomatoes in their desserts. Forget salads, burgers, and pizza. Sorbet is the new way to go. Cheetos Ice Cream. Whoa. 
I'ma need a minute. The Cheetos frenzy has gotten out of hand. You can literally find Cheetos everything, from fast food items to clothing. And now, there's even an ice cream. Big Gay Ice Cream Shop in New York was one of the first places to experiment with the cheesy snack and the frozen treat. And let's just say the mix of the two was a huge success. It consists of a vanilla and cheese flavored ice cream dipped in Cheetos dust. Not your typical ice cream topping, but not the weirdest we've seen either. Drilled ice cream a Los Angeles-based shop also wanted to give the Cheetos slash ice cream combo a try and began selling a snack-infused concoction called Hot as Hell, which is a blend of Cheetos and vanilla ice cream. But this time, it's topped with crushed hot Cheetos to add a little bit of spice. Final review, two cheetah thumbs up. The trend quickly caught on, and nowadays you can easily find this invention all across the country. Fish and Chips Gelato. Is it fishy? It's fish. You know what I mean. Here we go again with ice cream from under the sea. In Australia, they're big fish and chips eaters, so it would only make sense for them to make the most of it. With the help of two Italian flavor scientists from Italy's Bigaton company, George Kailis in West Australia was able to make fish and chips gelato a reality. Made with a little bit of fish oil and little battered fish bits on top, the gelato is not as fishy as it might seem. Fishy, fishy. Sure, you get the occasional chunk of fish, but it never overpowers the rest of the dessert. It's obviously not your traditional fish and chip fix, nor ice cream fix, but according to everyone who's tasted it, it's worth trying at least once. The chili creaminess will make you forget the off-putting ingredients in no time. Ghost Pepper Ice Cream The merciless peppers of Quetzalcoatlango. <gasps> in general, ice cream isn't supposed to be spicy. In fact, it's usually the complete opposite. But that doesn't mean spicy cool can't still be a thing. The ice cream store in Delaware serves up some pretty fiery scoops, all with a good amount of spicy peppers. Yo! Don't be fooled by the pretty red color. This is not cherry or strawberry flavored, au contraire. Special mentions include the Devil's Breath Carolina Reaper Pepper Ice Cream, which is a bright red vanilla ice cream mixed in with cinnamon and a pepper mash, and the more popular Ghost Pepper Ice Cream, a flavor so intense it was featured in a Ripley's Believe It or Not book back in 2016. If you wish to try any of those flavors, you'll need to sign a waiver, so don't take this decision lightly. If you have a pen for spicy food and want to expand your horizons, consider indulging in a hot, peppery ice cream cone. Cardamom Black Pepper. Okay, here you go. You got a strawberry and then a vanilla with sprinkles, extra whipped cream. Who said ice cream had to be sweet anyway? Maybe breaking the mold isn't necessarily a bad thing. Sunny's in Minneapolis offers a plethora of original ice cream flavors, and amongst them is the cardamom black pepper. Cardamom has a rather complex taste. It has piney, fruity, and almost menthol-like hints, which is why it's extremely well paired with the ginger citrus scoop. The spice is then doubled down when the pepper flavor hits, which only adds more kick to the treat. It's definitely not a flavor for everyone, especially if you hate black licorice, since they're both similar. Are you even allowed to be here? But if you're not scared to try new things, then this particular ice cream is worth trying. You can also make your own homemade ice cream and add in as much cardamom as you want. Cheese ice cream. It's a waffle cone. That has cheese in it? Stuffed with cheese. Okay, this one could technically make sense. Ice cream is made from milk and so is cheese, so the idea of mixing the two of them together isn't that crazy, but it's still a little surprising. Plus, everyone likes cheese, right? Well, if you do, you simply must give cheese ice cream a try. And since there are so many types of cheese, you can bet that there are also many types of cheese ice cream, so you're sure to find one you like. Say cheese. There's the goat cheese beet swirl from Sweet Action Ice Cream in Denver, the cheddar cheese ice cream from Il Laboratorio del Gelato in Manhattan, and pear with blue cheese from Oregon-based Salt and Straw, to name a few. Basically, no matter the cheese that makes you happy, there's probably an ice cream made with it. And to top it off, the word on the street is that there's now a Kraft mac and cheese ice cream, but you didn't hear this from us. Got a weird flavor we should know about? Leave us a comment. Tap or click on another great video, hit that subscribe button, and ring that notification bell.